Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here and I'm back for another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII Remastered on the PS4 and in today's episode we're going to be potentially polishing off the last bit of disc one might break it down into two videos, I don't, pardon me, don't know, we'll see how things go so in our last episode uh, we had our mission briefing and then the the announcements began the sorceress made her threats so to speak and things started to get a little bit grim when Renoa was pounced upon by uh, a couple of beasts and we got locked in the uh, mansion as well so we had to find our way out of there So we're going to have to make our way through the sewers now, which is what I'm doing now. If you haven't, uh, if you can sort of see what I'm doing here, it's starting, and that's where we leave our sewer team for the moment. Now's our chance, come on. What are you waiting for? Renoa might die. So we we'll go ahead here and follow Irvine. And what's this? Well, 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 looks like Cypher is indeed alive. Which means we're probably going to have to deal with him later. Okay, so at this point, if you hadn't already got the magazine that was down the manhole, you can now go and get it. If not, then follow me. And we have got a boss fight coming up. You also want to make sure that for this boss fight you have somebody that's capable of using the draw command, as there is a guardian force to be had which is uh, Carbuncle who is actually a very useful guardian force in the fact that when you use Carbuncle uh, casts reflect on all characters at once and of course she also has a couple of refinery abilities and other such things as well that are very useful Up we go. So there's the dead president who was assassinated in our previous episode. I may have boomed up a little bit here. Uh, 
coat. Oh, well, Squall's able to draw, so that kind of helps. Let's go ahead and get Carbuncle. And the reason I say I think I may have cocked up is I didn't look at Irvine's equipment before I ran in here. Yeah, as I thought. That's not an issue. So the attacks that they've dished out so far is pretty much the uh, gist of their uh, arsenal. There we go. And we've extracted Carbuncle, so we're good to go. I was scared. Really scared. It's over now. I was scared. I was really, really scared. You're used to battles, aren't you? I couldn't. I just couldn't. I couldn't fight alone. You're not ready for all this. Better get going. I haven't forgotten your order. Just stay close to me. Right then, before we go any further, the first thing we want to do here is... I think Noah's got the rest of our equipment, hasn't she? Yes, she has. So if we go ahead and chuck Carbuncle on there. Uh, although she's not going to be keeping Carbuncle. So let me see here. So Squall will pass his equipment on to Quistus. And there we go. Actually, also what we'll do is we'll just take a look at Carbuncle here and see what we wanted to learn. Uh, so we've got Counter, which is a very useful uh, command ability. Uh, first, I think we're going to learn the Refine Recovery Medicine from items first of all. Right, let's get going. And we want to make our way through this little hatch here on the side. That will lead us down onto the Coracel. And when you're ready, examine the rifle. Irvine Kinesis, it's in your hands now. Why do you go? Uh, why do you get all quiet? Oh, he must be concentrating. Loneliness of the sharpshooter. I guess he has a point. Can't hear anything from in here. What's going on with the parade? I wonder. Cipher. So he's alive. Renoa. Cipher's alive. He was in the parade with the sorceress. What does it mean? Who knows? If I were to face the sorceress directly, would I have to go through Cypher? That's the way it goes as a seed. You can't choose your enemies. I may end up killing Cypher. You're both prepared, right? That's the kind of world you live in. You've had a lot of emotional training. 
but of course I'd rather it not happen it's up to it's all up to Irvine huh is he freaking out don't tell me you're getting the jitters I I can't do it Okay, that takes us into the sewers. So we'll go ahead and make our way through here then. And if we make our way all the way down... We got into a fight. Creep up! So what we could do here actually is if we go into our junctions and go across to Quistus, we can put our no encounters on for now, which will make things easier for getting around here and save a bit of time. Oh, where is that restocked already? Holy moly, that was quick. So from here it is this way and there's another draw point to be had there so we'll go ahead and just walk our way down here and go and get that I wonder no okay I thought that one might have recharged itself quickly like the other one did but nope uh, we'll give this one to selfie because why not so that draw point's a bit more hidden, but there is an ability that you can get later on called the Move Find ability, which, if you can get your hands on that, will um, allow you to find all hidden save points, draw points. So yeah, very helpful ability to have. I believe it is I believe Tomri possibly has the move find ability but I'm not entirely certain actually no wait hold on no I stand corrected it's actually uh, Siren that has it in fact you know what I think we'll go ahead and learn that one now because it will come in handy In fact, actually, let's just take a quick gander at what everybody else is learning. Right, at this point, I don't think it really matters what order uh, Quasgot learns his, her abilities. Same with Shiva. Uh, same with Ifrit. Siren, we've just sorted out. So the defendability is another one that you're going to want to uh, uh, to learn, especially for later on. And all will be made clear as and when we get to that particular point. certain as to what the dark side ability does I never actually bothered to use it right let's proceed
So we are almost at the end now. So just over on the right hand side of my screen, that was where we found the magazine, which as I said earlier on in the episode, can only be accessed from that other manhole cover. And we'll go ahead here and save our game because we are now pretty much at the end game of disc one. So what we're going to do here now is we are going to switch everybody back. Because uh, next it will be Squall, Irvine and Renoa that will be going into combat so we need to make sure that we are actually ready. Well, I have to say this guide's gone a lot better than my previous one that I did for this game where I missed, well, I say I missed bits out, bits went wrong. Phew, we just made it. Well, doesn't she look happy? Alright, so let's go ahead and pull the switch. Irvine Kinesis! I can't. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I always choke like this. I try to act all cool, joke around, but I just can't handle the pressure. Forget it, just shoot! My bullet, the sorceress, I'll go down in history. I changed the history of Galabida, of the world. It's all too much. Enough, just shoot! I can't, damn it! Irvine, calm down. Everyone's waiting on you. I don't care if you miss, whatever happens, just leave the rest to us. Just think of it as a signal, a sign for us to make our move. Just a signal. That's it. Please? Just a sign. I'm sorry. It's okay, your aim was perfect. Just leave the rest up to me. I'm going in for the sorceress. Irvine, Renoa, just be ready to back me up. Well, we've already sorted ourselves out. Everybody should be kitted up and ready to go. Yeah. We're good. Take care of Renoa. To be fair, I'm not surprised the sorceress didn't get hit with that bullet. I mean, she's a sorceress for crying out loud, as if she's going to allow herself to be taken out by a measly bullet.
now, now. Doesn't Siphon look happy to see us? Well, this is how it turned out. So you've become the sorceress's lapdog? I prefer to be called her knight. This has always been my dream. Squall, you're mine. Oh yeah, well we'll see about that. Now, if we can successfully mug him, we can pull a, I believe it's a elixir out of him. Ugh, not bad. Now, with what I'm about to do next, you're probably going to be thinking he's mad, why is he doing it? But it will be worth doing. Oh, I forgot I can't cast potions on bloody enemies in this game. God damn it, I'm still stuck in the uh, later Final Fantasies. Alright, we'll just have to keep trying to mug him then, because I don't have Cure set up on me right now, I don't think. I lost! You're losing it, Cypher. A seed planted in a rundown garden. <laughs> right then, the first thing we're going to want to do with this particular battle is pull out our newest addition to our team, which is Carbuncle. And the reason I say that is because she uses a lot of magic. And as I stated earlier, Carbuncle puts Reflect on us, which will send all her magic back at her. So let's go ahead and do that now. And we'll have Renoa and Scroll go ahead and launch some attacks. Again, with Ida, it is possible to mug her for an elixir if we're lucky. However, like Cypher, she's also a pain in the ass to steal from. As you can see, she's not pulling any punches. I'm just going to hold off on my attacks a second to get Carbuncle out. So we're going to need to keep putting up uh, Carbuncle because she will try to dispel us, unfortunately. I'm just going to have Scroll attack for now. So I want to try and get that elixir out of her if I can. she's using D's spell, she's not casting magic on us. So it kind of works out.
takes care of that. Impotent seeds. Okay, so we failed to steal the elixir, unfortunately. She just would not hand it over, but hey ho, we tried. And that is the end of disc one. Uncle Laguna, there's someone here to see you. Huh? Me? What's this person look like? He was wearing funny clothes. He's talking to Rain right now. Hmm, is he at the pub? Yup, that's why I came over to get Uncle Laguna. Am I a good girl? No, you're not. It's dangerous to be out there by yourself. Whatever monster comes and attacks you. It's only next door, it's okay. It's still dangerous. And since you're such a cute little girl, the monsters will especially be after you. They'll catch you and then they'll suck all your blood out. If anything like that should happen, Uncle Laguna's gonna cry. I'll be okay. I'll just call you Uncle Laguna. You'll come rescue me, right? Hey, Emily, wait! Okay, well, I think this is as good a place as any to end the episode. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen in this episode, then let me know in the comments section or hit that like button. And I will catch you all next time. Bye bye for now.